To install the microchip PET door in a wooden door, you will need appropriate hand or power tools to cut through the door. As you will be cutting wood, you should also use protective eyewear. Before you install the PET door, you should program each of your pets into the memory to ensure all of their microchips or collar tags can be read reliably. The other very important thing you must do before installation is measure the height of your pet's stomach off the floor, as this indicates the height you should install the pet door. Getting the height correct is vital in ensuring your pets have unhindered access through the pet door. Make a mark on the door at the height of your pet's stomach. Next, make a vertical mark on the door where you want the horizontal center of the pet door. Apply a ball of blue tack or similar adhesive putty to the four corners of the external frame. Take the external frame and make a pencil mark on the inside surface of the bottom edge, as we are showing here. Line up the mark you have made on the inside bottom edge of the frame with the marks you have made on the door, and use a spirit level to ensure the frame is horizontal. Then apply firm pressure to compress the blue tack and hold the frame in position. Now use a pen or pencil to draw a line on the door using the inside of the frame as a guide. The line should be where the inside edge of the external frame would touch the door. Also mark the position of the four screw holes. Use a large drill bit to make holes through the door so that you can easily fit your jigsaw blade through them. We also recommend drilling through from both sides of the door to avoid splintering or damaging the door surface as the drill bit breaks through. Next you must use a saw to cut out the section of the door. We are using an electric jigsaw for speed and accuracy. If you cut slightly outside the line you have drawn, the tunnel should easily fit through the door the first time. Use a 6mm drill bit for the four screw holes, making sure that the drill is horizontal before you start drilling. Once you have made all of the holes and removed the section of the door, clear away any dust or debris with a cloth or vacuum cleaner. Now put the tunnel of the pet door through the hole in the door and hold it firmly in place. Remember that the LCD screen and the batteries should be on the inside of the house. From the outside of the door, slide the external frame over the end of the tunnel and choose the correct length of screw from the three provided. For a standard thickness of door, you will either need the medium or long screws. If unsure, start with the medium screw and see if that reaches through to the captive nut. If the medium screw is not long enough, use the longer screws. Put all four screws in place before you tighten them up with a handheld screwdriver. Do not use a power screwdriver or you could accidentally break the captive nuts. Finally, insert the screw caps, noting that the slot in the screw cap should face away from the tunnel as shown. Your pet door is now ready for use. If you wish to learn more about the features of your pet door, including how to program the lock timer for curfew mode, please watch our Getting Started video.